What is going on everybody? Andy Gabs here and welcome back to another vlog. Uh, you might realize that the audio is not matching up with the video right now. Uh, I forgot to turn on my microphone for the first few clips. So I am voiceovering the video right now, but I am at the San Diego Zoo on the San Diego Zoo Sky Fari that brings you across the whole entire park. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this video. It's only going to be like this way for the first couple minutes, so just bear with me. Yeah, so basically this like Sky Fari thing just brings you over the park and brings you over different exhibits. Like this one that you can see I'm actually coming up on. I want to say it was gorillas. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to tell, but I think it was silverback gorilla. So it just gives you a bird's eye view into their enclosures, uh, which is actually really, really cool. You know, not a lot of zoos can do that. And I want to say right here, I am asking you guys to do me a favor and smash that like button. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. I think that's what I was going for. It really helps the channel. So if you wouldn't mind, help me out, smash the button. This was really cool. So right when you get off of that sky party, you're like right over this exhibit. And I want to say it's like an anteater or an aardvark or something. I'm honestly not 100% sure. I couldn't find like the little sign placard. But it was still really cool right when you get off and he was in there walking around and kind of just exploring his enclosure. But it was cool to see him like from above. So this was definitely one of the coolest things that I saw at the zoo. It's not often that you go to zoos and the big cats are actually walking around. But you can see this dude, he actually almost slipped and fell in the water. And then this is actually a baby, not maybe a baby, but a juvenile. And he was walking around and, you know, playing. And it was really cool to actually see them walking around and doing stuff. You know, usually all the big cats are just kind of asleep in their enclosures. So it was definitely cool to like watch him interact. You really can't go wrong with a five second capybara clip. All right, well here's a solid view of some elephants. These guys are absolutely gorgeous. Just look at how big they are. It's kind of crazy, honestly, but there's two of them, I think. There's one more right over there, you can kind of see. So this is a pronghorn from Africa. See that dude kind of just hanging out, being lazy. Cool little exhibit. I don't know if there's more than one in here. I'm not 100% sure. But cool little dude for sure. That was pretty sweet. That honestly seemed like that camel came over and like knew who that guy was. I mean, I'm sure it's like his keeper or whatever, but it was cool that he like actually went over to him. And I just realized that I had my microphone off for half of the time that I was shooting. Uh, so I turned it back on, but I don't know if all the stuff I recorded in the beginning even got caught because my microphone was plugged in, just not on. So I'm hoping the camera, camera microphone got it. If not, I'll voice over everything, but hopefully it worked. If not, that's gonna suck. All right, definitely one of my favorite animals. These are baboons. How cool is that? How awesome. Like I said before, a lot more stuff seems like it's actually like active and moving around compared to every other time that I'm here when everything's being lazy, but it's definitely cool to actually see stuff like moving around and interacting with the habitat. Another one of my favorites here at the zoo is the koala bears. Oh, that guy's scratching. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, you definitely can. That's adorable. How about this guy? He's like right here. Oh, just laid down. That was awesome. So the cool thing about the cheetahs uh, here, and I think they actually do it at a few other zoos too, they actually raise them with dogs. Uh, I think the dogs help teach them or like help I don't know, like comfort them or something, but it's really cool. Uh, this is the same exhibit that I just showed you with that cheetah. And there's a yellow lab. Just hanging out. Him and the cheetah are friends, I guess. But I'm not lying. That cheetah was like right over there. And now we are heading back to the front of the zoo through what they call the eucalyptus forest, which like 90% of California has eucalyptus anyways. So not that different, but still kind of cool. And it's nice and cool. 
Okay, now we're definitely in my part of the zoo and the part of the zoo that I actually came to show you guys because in my opinion it's probably the best reptile exhibit at any zoo that I've ever found. It's huge, the animal enclosures are awesome, they all look really well taken care of. So we're just gonna walk through and I'm gonna show you guys everything. All right, so I can tell glare is kinda gonna be my enemy, but this is two big Boland pythons. Look at those guys. Absolutely beautiful animals. This is a northern neotropical rattlesnake. Venomous, but really, really pretty. Here is a black-headed python. You can see the jet black head right there. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love the fact that they have like the real leaf litter inside the cages. Gorgeous. And similar to the black-headed python, this is a woma. Look very similar, right? And a green tree python right here. It looks like an aru, if I had to guess. You know, I can't be sure, but definitely looks like an aru green tree python. Doesn't have enough yellow to be a biop. Still a pretty animal. Largest species of rattlesnake in the world. The eastern diamondback. Dude, I saw a rattlesnake near my One of my favorite snakes. Really? Doesn't take the cake, but absolutely. I know, beautiful. I was driving past it. And huge. And the king. There is no cooler animal than this right here. And that. See if I can get you guys a good view of his head. Cobra. Look at that. Absolutely gnarly. And even cooler than the black tree monitor is this dude who is a blue tree monitor. You can kind of see the different colors and color patterns. Super long tail. But he legitimately has like a bluish tint to him. Well, you can just see him. It took me like a solid minute to find this guy. That's an eyelash pit viper again. Uh, you do not want to deal with these guys out in the wild. Beautiful to look at, but not a friendly guy. Like again, if you're just panning over this enclosure looking at it, you definitely can't really see it. Like even if I'm right there, right on it, it kind of looks like a leaf. Definitely cool. There's a Gila monster right there. Another dude you do not want to take a bite by. This would definitely hurt. Out of anything here that can kill you, obviously I don't want to get bit by, but out of the Gila monster and the Vita dragon, those are two that I definitely never want to take a bite from. I've heard that it's absolutely excruciating and it lasts for like a day. Uh, so definitely don't want to take a bite from those guys. This is an Ethiopian mountain adder. Another really venomous dude, but still really pretty. A huge enclosure for just one thing. Gorgeous though. This is a Rowley's Palm Pit Viper again, neon green. If you were walking through the jungle and it was all foresty outside, you would definitely not see that guy at all. Super, super pretty. Alright guys, so unfortunately that is pretty much all I have for the San Diego Zoo. I didn't have a ton of time and I really just wanted to come and show you that reptile room that we just left. Like I said, it's one of the best and well managed that I've ever seen at a zoo. And they have a huge variety of awesome animals. Uh, I love coming here. It's great. But for now, I gotta go pick up Kelsey from work. Now, this statue when you're leaving is really cool. I never remember this being here. That doesn't mean that it wasn't here, but it's cool. It's like a huge lion statue. Uh, if you guys were curious, it's absolutely packed here today. It literally took me like 20 minutes to find a parking spot. I was highly in the <laughs> Alrighty guys, so as I'm guessing you can see, I made it home. Kelsey and I, who's right there, are walking to go check my mail. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. You know it means a lot to me. Again, I'm hoping that I don't have to dub over this, the beginning of this video, but I guess you guys will know by now if I did. Uh, if I did, I'm sorry, won't let that happen again. Uh, but please do me a favor, like this video if you haven't already, drop me a subscription if you're not subscribed, leave me a comment if you are new, tell me where you're from and what was your favorite animal in the video, reptile or not. Uh, I appreciate you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.